So we have an iterator. The iterator had to implement it. Our custom iterator implemented iterator, and that's the public methods you see right here. Uh, I chose to give it in the constructor, I chose to give it the head right here, which is what I wanted to do to allow iterating through this linked list. Uh, just be very careful when you iterate through, usually you don't want to be modifying the linked list somewhere else while you're iterating through it in a different place. Uh, we are only operating on one thread, so we don't really have to worry about that, but just in general, you want to be careful when you're building an iterator uh, and using it, you don't want to also modify the data structure you're looping through somewhere else. So I have some test code here. And first up, I'm explicitly calling the iterator method. So here we go. So I created an iterator here. Notice I sent in the parameter. If you don't put the parameter in, this iterator is going to just give you objects. Uh, in which case that has to be an object, which is from what I'm doing is fine. But if you're going to concatenate, uh, you can use two string. If you're going to like substring or use any other string methods, you're going to need to either cast it to a string or uh, give it a type parameter like this. So here's how I got the iterator right here. And the has next is a Boolean, either true or false, depending on if there's another element afterwards. Now, if you're looking for the usual plus plus I or I plus plus, that is happening, but it's happening right here. And the reason that you definitely could, you could declare your string, string S. Uh, you could take this and put it over here, but the problem is you need to well, you can't declare a string in there. You have to declare it up here like as I did. Uh, but the other issue, what is the problem? Oh, too many. Uh, the other issue is S needs to be, gets the initial value of the zero element in there. And that only happens right here. And the way for loops work, what I have highlighted is run at the end of the for loop, which is what it's going to complain about right here, may not have been initialized. Okay, so probably the best way to solve this issue is to put nothing over here and instead declare your string and get the next element right there. Just be aware if there's has next, the for loop checks this first. So if there is no next, then none of this code actually even runs. So you won't have a, a problem with uh, null. Well, I guess you could put it, you could have stored a null value inside your list and that's a different issue. Uh, but this is how iterators work in a for loop. You can run this and it should just print out each element one at a time. So here we go, oatmeal, strawberries, burger, coleslaw. Okay, so that's a for loop. We could have done this using index, using an integer index, and then run through using the get. Would have worked just fine. I believe that this is faster, at least the way that I used, uh, the way that I wrote my linked list with get using an index. Uh, here is the for each loop, which functionally works just like this, except you don't have access to. Uh, the actual iterator that's kind of hidden and we can put string in here now if you have if it, you get an error right here it's because your list didn't have a string as the type parameter but again I'm scrolling up one more time to show when I declared my list I declared it with a string parameter and now I can do the standard for each loop and then the code becomes very compact and beautiful and all that good stuff. And there is your iterator testing code right there. Now, if you want to check out, we looked at list already, but you just go navigate, go to, uh, I think it's source or declaration, one of these two, control B, you can do the same thing, control B right here for iterable. 
and it just tells you a lot of detail about what iterable should do. Again, it's just an interface, so there's no code. It's just a promise of what it will do eventually after you've written it correctly. And there's one more I wanted to look at, custom iterator. There we go, implements iterator, control B. Now there's iterable and iterator. Uh, they're different. Iterator is what your, well, I call it my custom iterator implements. And iterable just means you're allowed to uh, iterate over it. I believe list already implements iterable, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me. So hopefully that'll help you out with type parameters, iterating, and the for each loop.